How do you find the second implicit derivative? Let's do it. First, we have to find the first implicit derivative. So we take d dx of both sides of the equation, and that gives us 2x plus 2y times dy dx. We have to multiply by dy dx because we're using the chain rule, because we're taking the derivative with respect to x. Okay, the derivative of a constant is zero. Let's isolate dy dx, so we get 2y dy dx equals negative 2x, and then we can divide by 2y, and we'll get dy dx equals negative x over y. And that is y prime, the first implicit derivative. Let's find the second. So again, we take d dx of both sides of the equation. dy dx equals d dx of negative x over y. Okay, on the left-hand side, we get d squared y over dx squared. That's just the notation for the second derivative of a y with respect to x. On the right-hand side, we have this negative. Let's pull that out front, and then we'll use the quotient rule. So that's y times the derivative of x minus x times the derivative of y all over the denominator squared. Okay. And let's continue. We have y minus x times something here. Now, what's that something? Well, we found that dy dx equals negative x over y. So let's plug that in and continue simplifying. So we have y plus x squared over y. So now we can find a common denominator in the numerator. <laughs> and that'll be y. So we'll get y squared plus x squared over y. And now notice that we are given that x squared plus y squared equals 25. So we can use that. We could say 25 over y over y squared. And now finally we have negative 25 over y cubed equals d squared y over dx squared, which is the second implicit derivative, y double prime. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.